Hello guys, I'm Ikeumzi and this is Chrome for the Apple iPad. Now as you know, Google and Apple don't quite get on, but during Google I.O. they announced Chrome for iPad, generally because they want to make more money probably. And I will actually show you, this is running iOS 6 beta 2 by the way, that's why the App Store looks a bit different than your iOS 5 devices. So if I go to top charts, I go to free. See, Chrome, if I zoom in, is at the top. And that's generally, generally because it's, it's a great browser. I mean, there is no way to actually make it your default browser in default iOS, but you you can if you're jailbroken um, I'll actually link a video down below it's not mine it's somebody else's agent I watch quite a lot because they got good videos anyway so let's start off this is the interface it's pretty much just like Chrome for the um, for the desktop if we have a look it's kind of just a little bit different I mean you've got your instead of going and say you can just do this and your incognito so you can browse the internet without people knowing what you're doing and that's very handy if you're that kind of person anyway so the main feature that doesn't actually work on the iPhone version for some reason well it doesn't work on the iPhone 4 is that little button up there well, that's Google Voice. So, if we were to um, do this, YouTube. As you can see, it's very effective. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit slower than Safari, but that's only because it's not allowed to run like turbo speed, uh, like the desktop one. But apart from that, it is pretty solid. So. Let's just look at playback of video. Let's just I I Kumbi. So let's just pull up Um Sarah over you. Blight. A little bit of time to load for some reason. Hello, YouTube. Uh, sorry. I'm... So as you can see, oh, you won't, we can't see that. Yeah, there we go. Playback is really solid, and it, if we do that, it doesn't ac exit the uh, YouTube mobile. And as you know, kind of expected, because Apple denied Even though Flash. there are these kind of apps in the App Store that can um, run Flash for you, there's not native Flash support on this, which is a bit annoying, because Google Chrome has built-in Flash on the desktop, you would kind of expect it to have it on the iPad or any other tablet. I don't know if the Android version supports it, it might do, but... They apparently Flash has started to die on um, devices. So, anyway, let's let's look at the various settings. As you can see, we have a new tab, so that opens a new tab, and you can have unlimited tabs. You can just go like this and click fire. Click fire. Zoom it up the top, and as you can see, just keep on pressing this, and they will stack up. Obviously, I don't recommend having this many tabs, but hey, it's it's up to you. If you're a tab master, then go ahead and do it. Anyway, so the other settings you got, you can set up a new incognito tab, or you can just press that button up there, and you go through that mode. 
you've got your bookmarks for your desktop um, if you sign into your Google account which I'm currently signed into but there's no PCs running it on at the moment and if you click other devices this as you can see that shows Callum's iPhone which is here so if we have a look it is indeed not connected to the internet but it is running that specific site so yeah you can also do it for all your PC tabs as well so you were watching YouTube on your PC and you want to bring the video up on your iPad you can you can just click that request desktop site email finding pages I don't I don't know what email does but let's look in sex okay so that's how you sign in to Chrome um, and then you have to sign in on the other device to be able to get the tabs the search engine I believe you can change that yes you can change it to Ask Jeeves, Yahoo, Bing. Generally, everybody uses Google, so there's really no point changing that. It is the fastest option. Say so passwords. That's good. Voice search. Oh, can I change that to US? Yeah. Clear browsing data. Let's just just do that. Is it faster than Safari at doing it? It certainly is. Because in Safari you have to go into the um, settings. But this is actually built into the app, so it's quite good. About Google Chrome, so we're on Google Chrome version 19.0. Okay, so it's not saying something like version 1.0. It's saying the desktop version, so I assume this is a direct port. It's just optimised for tablets. Anyway, that's a quick look at Chrome for the iPad. I'm Mike Coombsy and I'll see you in the next video.